All right, we got to kill. There's the other guy crawling away. Oh! We got mortared! <laughs>
and is visiting troops in Latrinte. Your objective is to locate these documents, bring them back for analysis. Take the officer's car from the town, drive it back to the base. You're near the town of Latrinte. Find the UAZ Soviet 4x4 with secret documents inside. So this game takes place in 1985 on a fictitious island where Americans and Soviets are basically at war. So we're gonna we're gonna be killing some Soviets today. All right, so this is it. W and S move forward backwards. A and D strafe. Uh, Z to lie down. V to reload the weapon. Although I thought R also does it. Um, oh, V actually zooms in. Interesting. Aim down sights. Uh, spaces to change weapon. Does uh, nothing right now. Return is your action menu. I can reload. Okay. And... Almost choose an action. Left mouse. Right mouse. All right. Well, we got the basics down. Let's go. And... Oh, that's a bad guy. I was going to say. <laughs> are, are, are we straight up killing bad guys? I, I, I actually couldn't tell. I didn't know if those were civilians. And I didn't want to start my mission by killing civvies. But, uh... We're going to start by killing these guys. Boom, boom. I mean, one thing... So, I only... I played around with this game for like... Oh, I'm dead. I played around this game with this game for like 10 seconds before I started recording here today. And one thing that really stood out to me is the cursor and the crosshair. And, and it's interesting because I feel like in most games they make your cursor like super precise and stuff. Oh, and are we spawning in a different area too? Oh, that's cool. So you have a different spawn point every time. Um, things feel like very floaty, but sort of like very real. Um, and I kind of dig it. I kind of like the fact that this game feels sort of like ultra uh, realistic in a way. And I know like the Arma series would, uh, you know, continue that that uh, direction of making things feel very realistic. And in fact, I I'm going to full on admit it. I can't remember if we've ever played an Arma game on my channel. We might have. We may. I may very well have played an Arma game. But, you know, guys, we're getting up to like... How many games have I played? Almost 600 at this point. I'll be honest, some are starting to blur together. I'm starting to, like, forget what I have and have not played. Uh, and sometimes, you know, I don't think I've played a game, then somebody, like, shows me a screenshot, I'm like, oh, I definitely have played that. So I'm basically developing gaming dementia. Um, I, I, <laughs> I have the gaming acuity of, uh, of, of a retire, retirement home uh, individual. Uh, find the car. Okay, there's no car here, dude. There's just nothing. Oh, maybe... Do I actually have to go look for it? Oh, is that guy still alive? Oh, he is! And he killed me! Alright, pro tip. Make sure your enemies are dead. Don't just assume they are. Okay, let's give this another shot here. I'm gonna... So, this is way more stealth-based than I thought. I thought we could just go in guns a-blazing. Obviously not. Can't tell if we killed that guy or if he ducked down to, like, attack us. So we're going to kind of run here. My only hope is that uh, as hard as it is for me to hit the enemies, it's hard for them to sort of retaliate. And so maybe, just maybe, we'll be okay. I think I killed that guy. Can't tell. Look at this dick. Running out into the field. Get in the cover, you idiot. That's how you get killed. Trust me, it's happened to me twice already. Oh, damn, they got me. I thought I could sort of make a run for it and be okay. Imagination is one weapon in the war against reality. You're in position, the hell does that now mean? Grab that truck and get out of there. Out. All right, grab the truck and get out. Apparently, there are overhead maps and stuff in this game, so we might try and fiddle with that in a minute. Um, I'm going to try roundabout route this time. Wait, are those tanks? Are those tanks? Oh, they're bushes. All right, we're safe. Um, I keep running into the mix, like just, just running headlong into town. I'm going to try and go around the outskirts and snipe away as many Russians as I can. Gradually make my way into town. Oh, God. And we might be dead already. Damn. We lived. Yeah, I'm going to get in this building for a second. Oh, my God. This is not a nice place to live. Someone living here? This is like a burnt-out husk of a building. Oh, the second floor is nicer. This is a nice chair. And... That's it. Oh, there is a roof. 
Maybe this will give us the vantage point we need to like spot the uh the car. Okay, hold on. Climb up ladder. There we go. Am I doing it? Jeez. This 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 really is more of like a simulator type game because like actions like climbing a ladder are like very slow and laborious. But uh alright. Hey, look at the other action they've got, like salute, sit down. Interesting. You guys see a car? I do not. I just see that one Russian that I killed. Alright, well down we go then, I guess. Uh so crawl. And <laughs> I can't figure out how to get down the ladder. I think I'm crawling. Can we just fall down. Go down the ladder. Climb down ladder. There we go. Alright, he has to get into climbing position. There we go, and down we go. Look at his hand just floating in space. So obviously this is a very early, uh, rough game in terms of simulations, but, um, you know, realistically, put the M16 in my hand, realistically, like, if you think back to, like, oh god, it's a guy. Die! Alright, we killed him. Just riddle his body with bullets just to make sure. Because, <laughs> uh, frankly... We have survived longer than any of my previous lives, and, you know. Uh, we could take the AK-47, or, or, what was that, an AK-74? Take the hand grenade. Yeah, give me that, baby. Take me ammo. Uh, take the hand grenade, drop the M16. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so there's no car here. Take the hand grenade. We have, we have grenades. Okay, there. In fact, I don't even really know how to throw grenades. So I'm not sure how much of a priority we should make getting grenades. But okay. So this is as far as we've ever gotten. Being very careful trying to look for dudes. Keep my eye out for dudes. Like a single lady on the prowl. Just looking for dudes. Hot Russian dudes. I see no dudes. I'm going to get a shot in the back. I know it. I know it. I would make a terrible SWAT team guy because SWAT team guys always seem to have like, they always, they, they're very good at like checking their corners and like, you know, having good uh, idea of their surroundings and all this stuff. Whenever I play a game like this where you can die in like one or two shots, I just like, I think things are clear and I make a run for it and somebody just straight up shoots me. You know, I get, I get murked really easily in games like this. I'm just, I, I have bad situational awareness. I think it's from growing up in a very safe way. I mean, like, if I may, I, I grew up in a, I'm Canadian. I grew up in a very safe country, a very safe uh, life, a very safe neighborhood. Even being from Toronto, being from the big city, you know, like, people in other parts of Canada are, like, afraid of Toronto, you know, like, scares them. It's one of the safer places in North America, frankly. And, uh... So I don't really check my back in real life. I'm not usually, like, worried about getting, you know, attacked by anyone. Um, oh, baby, but we got to the car. All right, now we drive to the meeting point. We're just going to straight on, straight up run over any Russians we encounter. Oh, this is kind of cool. This would have been pretty neat for 1995. When did ha Halo didn't come out until, like, 2000, wasn't it? Like, I remember when Halo came out, People were kind of blown away by the fact that, uh, you know, you could, like, drive the Warthog and stuff. It was like a... Halo's a brilliant blend of first-person shooter um, and sort of combat uh, in the sense of, like, you know, in Doom, you're just running around shooting guys by yourself. What's cool about Halo is, like, you're in the middle of battlefields and there's, like, humans and aliens trying to outmaneuver one another, shoot one another. There's tanks, there's Warthogs, there's stuff flying around the sky. Like, it's, it's more of a battlefield simulator, I would say, than Doom, which is more of a first-person shooter. Um, and that was, that was like, the end of the 90s. This game came out in 95, and, you know, this, this is different than Halo, and it's more of a simulator, one-hit kills and all that. But the fact that we're going to be seeing vehicles, because from what I've read, this is, you know, has a lot of vehicles in it. Oh, God, nice work, soldier. I knew you had any look at that. That face technology of the mid-90s, it is not good.
Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Like the fact that we're gonna be seeing vehicles and stuff. You know, again, put it in context. Think of what was happening in the mid '90s. You know, like Super Nintendo was around still. Uh, or wait, was it? Super Nintendo came out in like the early '90s. Yeah, like '92, '91. Um, so yeah, uh, this would have been out around like Super Nintendo would have been a thing at this point still. I'm sure. I'm sure people still would have been playing Super Nintendo. Maybe I'm wrong. The 90s also blend together. Speaking of gaming dementia. Um, oh, look. House, house, house. There are many houses here. Oh, we saw like a farm or something. Something else here. My mouse is super sensitive. It's actually oh, a fountain. It's kind of weird. Like, like I moved the mouse just a tiny bit and it's moving a heck of a lot. Anyway, Intel reports that a high-ranking Russian officer in possession of some highly sensitive documents is visiting troops. Objective is to locate these. Um, wait, didn't I do this? Didn't I? I stole the car. Fine, take your car to the commander in Duran. Wait, I I did that mission. We now do ambush. Oh, I see. Oh, you know what? There's like a whole campaign that we could be playing. I say we just keep trying some of the single player missions because you know, knowing our time frame, like we play these games for like an hour. We've already been playing this for like 15 minutes. Let's try just a handful of cool missions. So let's see what these actually are. And we'll select ones that sound cool. The enemy ahead of us is getting taken out this morning. Armored infantry units across the whole front line will advance. Ooh, that sounds cool. Could be part of a big battle. Coordinate a major operation to destroy a convoy. That's cool. Take to the skies. Okay, we're going to have to do that one for sure. And we're going to have to... Okay, so these two we're doing for sure. We're going to be in a helicopter going to drive a tank. Um, what else are these? Ninja in the night, alone, deep in enemy terror. Sneak undetected into the city. Okay, we would fail that mission hardcore, so we're going to skip it. Uh, what about sniper team? Assassinate high-ranking officers. Ooh, okay. So we're going to do ground attack, heavy metal, sniper team. And I guess we'll try... Let's just start with ambush real quick. If we die a couple of times on a mission, we'll just move on just to keep things going. But we'll we'll try and do like an honest try on every mission here. Uh, so we get a sense of the breadth this game has to offer. But um, I love these early 3D games, just like the, the guys, the, you know, the faces and the like chunky polygon, polygons and all that. Like they were trying. They wanted to make these games cinematics. Just obviously it's not that you know, photorealistic. Like, look at these guys, these poor little schmucks. Let's get back to the pl platoon. The attack is going to start in a few minutes. We have to pick up some men at the camp uh, in La Lise and move out. Right, and off they go running. <laughs> They're simplified run animations. That's great. The, the transition between 2 to 3D were, was sort of like the awkward teenage years of video games. You know, video, you know, when people are like in their teenage years, sometimes they kind of look gawky and their clothes don't fit right and they're going through growth spurts and they're all mis, you know, misproportioned. And then they hit their stride and they sort of become, you know, uh, comfortable in their own skin and stuff in college and they just look much better. But it's those awkward teenage years of video games that we're in right now. So the video gaming industry is trying to go from 2 to 3D. And there's some awkward times in here, but. Uh, definitely sort of a throwback to, uh, you know, games of the 90s. This is what they were like. Anyway, okay. Enough of the, enough of that sort of cinematic. Clear the immediate area of Soviet forces. We'll start on the beach, pick up the anti-armor team waiting for you near the crossroads, take them to join Alpha Squad, and support, with the support of Brow Squad, conquer the area. All right, kill, 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 and people are going to help you. I need to check in with that patrol. We'll be right back. Okay, that guy's checking in. Uh, all right. Morning, man. So, mouse is to turn around. No movement all night long. Enter on the numpad. Oh, wait, we can go into third person view. Oh my god, that's so cool. This is actually might be a better view for us. Um, and you can still aim down sights. That's pretty cool. H is to repeat last hint. Let's run after this guy. My guy. <laughs> my guy runs kind of awkwardly. All right, leader, let's roll, man. Let us roll. I don't know where we're going, so I'm just following you, man. Mount. Uh, get in the re 
get in reloading is done through the action menu um you can use the mouse wheel oh the mouse wheel lets you select actions i was wondering okay so get in jeep ride on back Boom. do it all right take me where i need to go sir oh, look at this and look around here get some story morning could get pretty hot we're going in as part of a large offensive to eliminate russian presence ivan will probably throw some heat our way was that classic 80s movies 80s movies 80s movie it was like red menace no it wasn't red menace. it was red red something it was about soviets invading america i've actually never seen that movie if you can believe it i know about it they even talk about it in hot tub time machine um, and I've seen like behind the scene things about like actors who had fights on the set of that movie and stuff But uh, I can't think of the name of that movie I think it had Kurt Russell. I could be way off here. In fact, I probably am Anyway, we linked up with our team So all right dudes Now what? All right, we're we all gonna get in the Jeep now All right, everybody back in the Jeep Get in Jeep as driver don't mind if I do. Great. Everyone's here. All right, where are we going? Commander, you tell me where to go. If we're going to pick up more guys, we got to get a bigger car. This is going to end up like a clown car joke. The one Jeep's going to pull up on the battlefield and like 38 troops are going to run out. The Russians are going to be like, what's going on? We're going to shock and awe them. The prize of the military clown car is the secret to uh, American success in war, I guess. We could, we could fit one more guy maybe in the trunk and like two more hanging on the top of the car, but frankly, I don't see it after that. Stop here and wait for me. Ready to attack, sir. All right, Bravo team. Get to your position and wait. Get into position and wait for orders. Our sergeant, I think, is sort of the commander or the sergeant Apone of of this story. You know, Apone from uh, Aliens. He was sort of the no-nonsense uh, drill sergeant or whatever. Who, I think, he, he uh, his personality has sort of been enshrined in sci-fi. Because, like, there's a lot of references and stuff to him. Like, I know the, the Space Marines in StarCraft generally. Um, I mean, they were based on many things. Like the Space Marines in uh, Warhammer 10,000 or whatever. But also, uh, you know, Aliens. Um, let's switch back to first person mode for this part here. I guess I could have stayed on the road, but, uh, you guys told me to go west, so I'm going west. I'm, uh, driving us through the woods here. Don't mind me. I take my orders literally. Oh, God. I should have stayed on the road. This is actually going to be very precarious to navigate. Oh, God. It's actually harder to drive than it looks. Okay, go if you use if you move the mouse or the WASD keys it uh it, it uh, moves the wheel like look I'm like looking left and steering left at the same time this is this is bad let's see if I can actually make it through here okay we're going we're going we're going oh god everybody hold on to something <laughs> we are going straight through the woods only a hundred and oh god 140 more meters to go wow this is actually working i'm shocked all right i took a shortcut chief we made it though all right let's go back to third person mode hey there's our dudes we better not run them over disembark all right what's up we're gonna kill some russians or what two eight nine board truck all move to three two zero oh look three, they did four, give us a bigger five, truck board truck eight ready. i was kind of joking but i mean i guess ready. they uh you ready. know three, ready. they were in on it nine, they knew what was going on all right am i ready. driving this thing five, ready. what do you want me to do wait hey wait guys <laughs> wait guys Okay, hold on. There's somebody in the driver's seat. They've all gotten in the truck. Do I get in too? Our original truck, by the way, is gone. Oh, there we go. All right, get in. 
They're just like, what is this guy's problem? Why does he get in the truck? So I thought today was gonna be a lot of tactical shooting and stuff, but frankly, it's more of like, uh... Simulating what it's like to be in the army. You go a lot of places. You listen to a lot of orders. You kill the occasional person, but mostly it's like just walking from A to B. I don't know. This is very different from Operation Flashpoint 2, which was really... I mean, Operation Flashpoint 2, as I recall, it was sort of like a hyper-realistic simulator in terms of like one-hit kills and... I uh, had to be really careful about getting shot and shooting other people and stuff, but it was... And it was objective based, but it was fairly action heavy, whereas this really does feel more like um, what I would expect from like the Arma series, where it's very simulatory. Um, and a lot of the game is not necessarily killing. I mean, killing is in the game, but it's, you know, a part of it. It's part of a larger whole. Um, they are telling us about the battle plan, by the way. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> My guy's, like, frantically looking at the soldiers to his left and right, being like, Oh shit, was he talking to us? I was kind of staring at the sun. I was daydreaming, man. What, what was the plan? Did anybody catch that? What are we supposed to be doing? Okay, my, my combat strategy is just hang back. This would be my strategy in real life, too, frankly. Is, uh, if I was ever in some kind of, like, crazy army situation, I would hang near the back. I wouldn't want to be right at the very end, but I would hang near the back and let other people go ahead of me, and I would just sort of see what's going on and judge whether I wanted to keep going forward at that point. So yeah, we're going to let these guys all go forward, and uh, then we're going to sort of, you know, bring up the rear here. Let them get in with the first waves. All right, leader, show us how it's done. All right. Running up a hill now. I don't think there are any Russians in this level, frankly. Oh, wait, there's a Russian. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Everybody get down. Wait, how do I get down? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Never mind. Well done, team. Did I get him? Can't tell. I'm going to reload here. Can take this opportunity to reload. Oh, God. We're getting shot at. Okay, I think he's dead. Jeez, I'm like not even noticing that there are Russians. They're just straight up dead before anything can happen. I like being in a big group like this. It makes it less likely I'm going to get randomly picked off. Because <laughs> there's so many other targets. Hey, buddy. You decided to crawl into battle, eh? Bold choice. Bold choice. I was expecting some kind of, like, big assault battle, but so far, things are pretty calm. It's sort of like an afternoon jog, if I'm being totally honest. Okay, we got a target somewhere. 11 o'clock. Did we kill him? I think they blew him up. There's a machine gunner somewhere. They're calling out- they're calling out directions faster than I can orient myself. You guys got it. You guys got it. I don't even know where I should be firing. They're shooting at somebody over there. Oh look! A soldier! Oh. I was integral to helping kill that guy, I think. Two o'clock, soldier. Like somewhere over here? Is this a bad guy? Oh, that was totally a guy. Oh, is this a bad guy? Are these guys? Are these good or bad? I don't know. I just killed them. Um... Number nine, number eight. Uh-oh. Did I- Were these my guys? I'm sorry! I- I got two kills. I think they were my own guys. Um... Sorry. Engaging. Okay, there's a machine gunner somewhere. I'm dead! <laughs> Wait, what happened? I didn't even get shot, did I? I must have been sniped or something. Alright, well, turns out I'm not very good at the whole working as a team uh, kind of idea. I more or less probably killed two of my own teammates, and that's not what we would call a good thing. 
Um, let's go ahead and try being in a helicopter because what? <laughs> it's not like we can do any more damage. We we did a bit of friendly fight in the last mission, so why not be in a helicopter? Hopefully, we'll be alone and we'll just get to blow stuff up. Fly south near Cobra. Follow the waypoint. Destroy the convoy that is moving from Lollis to the north. Return to the heliport and land. Well, that's going to be where we die. <laughs> Landing is not my strong suit. First mission in a combat helicopter. Oops. Didn't mean to click cancel. It's just a sort of sensitive mouse here. The ground attack? Yeah. All right. Oh, I... <laughs> man, this mouse is... It's hard to describe, but this mouse is just, like, really sensitive. All right, here we are. Get in. Oh, Yes. Take the hand grenades. Why do we want any of that stuff? We're just going into the helicopter as the pilot. All right. Uh, let's see. I want to manual fire. I want to engine on. There we go. The actions in this game are actually very well done. I like the whole idea that it constantly brings up like context sensitive uh options and oh off we go oh 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 pull up pull up pull up pull up oh god <laughs> all right let's uh retry this woody allen not that afraid to die i just don't want to be there when it happens well yep all right let's try this again but yeah, I was saying, like, uh, this is a complex game with, like, lots of stuff. I like the idea that uh, you've got this context menu that comes up at the right time, and you just sort of, like, scroll to what you want, and then you do it. It's, it's like, a very easy system. I thought this game was actually going to be more complex. Uh, but it's... I mean, it's com it's complicated, but it's you can figure it out, you know? Okay, so we need to go up. We need uh, auto hover. Okay, now how do we how do we go up? Uh, one of these should go up. Oh, there we go. There we go. I was about to uh, go ahead and and like, you know, um, I was about to go ahead and like read into the menu or whatever. But I was like, I could probably figure this out, right? Like that complicated the Q allows you to climb makes sense and then when you press forward so helicopters because they only have like one rotor blade on top to move forward they actually have to tilt forward sort of at like a 45 degree angle and like then that rotor blade like pulls them forward so it looks like I'm kind of tilting towards the ground but actually that's how you just go faster in a helicopter frankly very interesting things to fly I have visual contact with the target. Over. All right, visual contact with the target. Fire. Roger. Fire. Sounds Fly good. Base. Engaging now. November one out. All right. Oh god, we are kind of like hovering to the ground though. Okay, hold on. Like convoy. Okay, hold on. Stop. Stop. Go back. Oh god. Okay, turn. <laughs> okay, I figured out taking off and accelerating, but oh god. We're all over the place. Pilot. Fire! Okay, hold on. A aim up! Aim up! What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, hold on. Where's my auto hover? Auto hover. There we go. Alright, let's go into manual fire. Oh, I can fire a gun, but uh, it doesn't actually help me. I want to tilt down. How do I do this? I do this. I'm rotating. There they are. Oh, I think we might build a. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're firing. We're firing. We're blowing up houses. We're blowing up houses. Oh god, pull up, pull up, <laughs> pull up. <laughs> I think we obliterated the village. I don't know if we uh, did anything to the convoy. Okay, we're gonna take another pass at this. Okay, where are these jerks? Over here, alright. Got him. Alright, here we go. Coming in hot. I'm just gonna start firing. 
I'm actually like hitting the road decently, like in theory. Missed again. Wait. Oh, we actually blew up a convoy truck. Boom! Alright, this is actually kind of cool. Like, I, the controls, I think, are better than I'm leading on here. Like, it looks like they're bad. But honestly, I think it's just me, because I'm still kind of, like, figuring this out. I'm not 100% sure how to fly this thing. I'm kind of making it up as I go. But there's the convoy. We shoot them. Boom, 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 boom. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Oh, I think I blew up a tent. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, no, we're going down. <laughs> ha. All right, well, we killed, we killed a convoy truck. I feel like that's not too bad. Sometimes they'll give a war and no... Sometimes they'll give a war and nobody will come. These are bizarre quotes. All right, let's, let's try our hand at a tank. See if we're better at uh, tank play here. So you are here, close to the farmhouse. Where is here? Oh, that's cool. These are like hyperlinks. Oh, neat. Oh, that's very cool. Galactic crew sees Leventon. Where the hell's Leventon? Oh my god, it's way over there. All right, well... This is a driving mission. Uh, I want to be a commander, man. I, I'm pretty sure there's nobody to command. Yeah, get out. <laughs> okay. Well, I got to start as the driver then. We'll start driving this bad boy. Let's do... Uh, ah, here we go. Third person mode. I don't know how people in real life drive tanks because first person mode in a tank, like actually crazy like you have so so much limited visibility um this mission is gonna take forever isn't it we have to go and like collect a crew before we even get to the battle okay because oh my god this tank is so slow all right because this is gonna take forever um let me let's just cut to the chase in this one Ah, oh, you can actually drive over bushes. That's good. All right, we have made it to the depot. Here's our faithful crew. I'm going to go ahead and get out. All right, boys. Oh, am I not close enough? Okay. Uh, get in as the driver again. This is a very particular crew. They're sticklers for the rules. Okay, wait for the others. Get out. The one nice thing is once we have a driver, I won't have to drive anymore. And I feel like I'm bad at driving. One, two, ready. Three, ready. All right, dudes. Uh, get in as commander. I feel like I'm not even... I'm just going to be able to call targets. I'm not even actually even going to shoot. So... Um, are you guys gonna come in or hey hold on is my crew even coming in hello hello wait where are these guys are you in my crew hey you oh I have night vision goggles on wait <laughs> where'd my crew go I think this guy's in my crew and he's just running away you're deserting your cu your country, man. All right, how do we actually control these guys? Select all units. Let's try that. All right, guys. Ah, there we go. We figured it out. Everybody get in. And I'm the commander. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> what are you guys doing? All right. Now, reverse. reverse? No, wait. Uh, refuel. Halt. Halt. Oh, I'm like giving them orders. Right, forward. Uh, okay, turn right. right it would just be easier if I drove at this point. <laughs> this left, is, forward. Left, forward. this is like the worst. <laughs> I don't think we're getting into Go battle in this one, thing. Eight, five, move to one. 
Oh, here's the repair truck. Here you go. Repair. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, well... Oh look, we can have them target a truck. Go ahead, destroy it, boys! Kill them all! Do it! Any second now. Uh, okay, you know what? Uh, get out. Uh, hold on. Eject. Okay, we jumped out of the thing. Okay, everybody, whoops. Everybody... I don't know. Three, Come over two, here. Zero, six, two. There we go. Way. You know, I can't even- I can't even get back in the tank and shoot it. Wow. Alright, well... <laughs> I thought helicopter controls were bad. Turns out, uh, telling people how to drive a tank is even worse. I just want to see- I just want to try shooting this thing. That's all I want to do. It's way too long. It's gonna be way too long to get to, uh... You know, an actual battle with this thing, but- oh! As a gunner, you don't even get to see what you're shooting at. That's hilarious. Um, oops, didn't mean to eject. Oh, uh, what did I do? I want to get in as gunner. Hold on, where am I? Get in as gunner. Funny how I was just talking about how easy this game is to control, and now look at all this. Kaboom! We get to fire again. Do I have to actually reload? I don't know how to do that. All right, well, we only have one shot in the tank. Even if I was the gunner, we would have one shot. Oh, no, wait, there's another shot, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, there you go. As the gunner, this is all you get to do is shoot. The other guy drives, and then there's another guy who tells you where to drive and where to shoot. So that sounds fun. Um, realistic, yes. Easy, no. At least not for me. All right, let's be a sniper. I do not want to be a commander in this game. Lead a squad of grunts. No thanks. Prepare member, member, three members of special forces units are preparing to cleanse Mont Montignac. And welcome Russians. Let's just try being a sniper because that's fairly... You don't have to drive a, a tank or a helicopter. You don't have to interact with anyone else. Um, neutralize the three officers. Okay, so I am here. And I need to go here to kill the dudes. Let's go kill some people. Oh, yeah. All right. Sniping, I feel like I can do this. I can do this. I think I'm going in the right direction, although I have no map. So no idea, actually. Well, I hope I'm going. I hope they point you in the right direction, at least. But, uh, well, third person is. See, my guy's all like, camoed up. He's got on, like, he's wearing tree bushes and stuff. He's got one of those Bushman suits on. So, yeah, look at that sun. This game is a very good simulator. Um, but I think you just have to get better than me at, you know, knowing how to actually play it. Okay. Once again, no enemies. This is such a quiet game. This is a combat game, by the way. <laughs> a combat game. Very few, if not no enemies on some levels. I mean, there's enemies on every level, obviously, but... We've, we've only seen enemies in this game a couple of times. Which is pretty funny. Um, I hope I'm heading in the right direction. Let's very quickly check how to bring up a map. Uh, M. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Oh, we actually are heading in the right place. But you are here in the forest. Like, I think that's us. Yep. So we just kind of want to, uh, keep going in this direction. Okay, we'll keep at it. Like how we're doing this at dusk. And we have no backup. 
They're like, this J guy does not work well with others. Killed his own tank crew, crashed two helicopters. Killed uh killed a couple of his own dudes on a on a group mission. He's you know, he's the kind of soldier that you give a gun and you send him off on one of them lone wolf missions. One of those suicidal, he'll probably never make it back missions. And you don't worry about it. You don't worry about it. He's one of those guys just to sort of fend for himself. Okay. Off we go. He'll see no one. All right. I mean, I kind of wonder why they started us so far away from the enemy base. I guess it's realistic, but like... Imagine if I die. If I want to replay this mission, I have to go all the way back to the forest and try again. Like, there's... Like, this, this is worse than a load screen. Because you can't just go to the bathroom or have a snack. Like, you literally have to come back and play five minutes of running in a field. <laughs> That is a level of seriousness to which you have to treat Operation Flashpoint here. This is not just a, a game that you pop in and play. This is a game that you live. Okay, I see, like, stuff. So, I want to kind of be smart about this. Any people? Absolutely no one. <laughs> this base is manned by two Russians. One sleeps and one mans it, and then they trade spaces. Oh, no, wait, there's a guy. Two guys. Ha! All right, we got a kill. There's the other guy crawling away. Oh! We got mortared! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we have to do it all over again! Oh my god, where are we? Okay, so... They will mortar you. I thought we were getting away with it, but... We definitely weren't. Well, while I run into combat here, we have a few minutes to kill, and I think it's about time we start wrapping our thoughts up on... Operation Flashpoint... Was it Cold War Crisis? I think this game is called. I've literally forgotten the name and I can't look at the title screen right now. Oh, I guess I can. No, I can't. Never mind. Um, anyway, this is one of the games in the book. A thousand one video games you just play before you die. I think what we can agree on is that when this game came out, um, it would have been well ahead of its time in terms of complexity, in terms of things you can do. Um, and certainly the DNA of the Arma series I can see here, you know, like this level of... Like, it's, it's a tactical shooter, I guess, but it's more of, like, a simulator than anything. Uh, okay, we're heading in the right direction, I think. Um, it, it, and it's a neat idea. It's a neat idea, for sure. I feel like the controls are actually pretty solid. Um, I really didn't have to look up hardly anything. You know, like, the, the helicopter and tank probably take more getting used to. But just the basic controls are, like, pretty intuitive. And the... Um, ability to have extra actions that are context sensitive is nice. It's cool that they're mixing in sort of combat with vehicles. In 95 they were doing this. That's pretty cool. Um, it is neat how there's like group battles and stuff, but that said, this is not Halo. Halo is sort of like the arcade version of this, you know, like in terms of its, its action is pumped up and the realism and the simulation is dialed down to like one. Um, I think, personally, I have more fun in the Halo-type games than in the, the Uber simulator -y type games uh, like this. But, that said, I think these games have a place. Um, I especially used to love watching the, uh, what was it, the DayZ, the Arma, the Arma expansion that turned it into, like, a zombie survival game. I thought that was genius, and Arma was, like, the very appropriate engine on which to uh on which to build this um but oh one more fun fact i forgot I, for I meant to mention this but i forgot um so remember how i said this game was based on gravon for the atari falcon um well that game came out hold on i have it here i gotta look at my notes for one second um oh i guess that game came out in 1995 huh i thought it came out earlier but anyway, this game uses the exact same game engine as that, so that's kind of interesting, I thought. 
But um, yeah, so if you're looking for a hyper realistic, you know, simulator. Oh my God, we just got killed. All right, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I went to die and I zoomed in and I got sniped or something. Wow. All right, if you're looking for a hyper realistic simulator type game, uh, and I know many people out there are, this game is a really early example of it. This game is kind of cool. I like what they were doing here. I think for me personally, this is not the kind of game I would play because uh, I need a health bar. <laughs> I, you know, I will play Halo. I'm more of the Halo player with health bars and regenerative health. One hit kills because you weren't careful enough as a sniper and you got to redo the whole mission. Um, that's just something I'm not going to be good at. Uh, but I, I do like what I saw in this game. I thought it was kind of interesting. And I did, I did actually sort of like what they did with the cursor, the crosshair. It felt different and almost more realistic. Like it wasn't as solid a crosshair as you would get in like Halo or another uh, more popular shooter. It was sort of fidgety. It would move around a little as you moved. I kind of liked that. It felt realistic. It was kind of interesting. Um, in terms of whether this is a game you should play, you know, it's going to appeal to some people, not to others. I don't think this is the kind of game that I would really get into or enjoy. Um, but as I say, if you're looking for the more simula simulatory type shooting experience, as opposed to sort of the more arcadey experience you get in like Halo or Doom or something, um, this could be right up your alley. And again, it was pretty advanced for its time. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you have thoughts of your own? Do you have fun memories or tips and tricks about this game? Whatever the case may be, comment your comments in the comment section down below. And as always, um, I hope that no matter what, you guys had fun today and it was enjoyable watching me fail in the army. If they ever, if the army ever recruited me, they would be so disappointed. Let me just tell you. Um, yeah, I hope you guys had fun. If you did, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves and peace. Okay, this is semi-embarrassing, but everything I said about 1995 in this video was wrong. This game came out in 2001, so it didn't really predate Halo as much as it was around around the same time as Halo. Gravon did come out in 1995, but this game came out in 2001, so there you go. Hey guys, don't turn to me as a definitive resource on gaming history. I, uh... I'm not going to tell you that I always get it right, but uh, 2001, this game came out. Still kind of cool for its time. There you go.